Welcome back everyone. Today we have another video for uh, this time at Don Flamingo Don Quixote. Uh, I just wanted to try it out again uh, with different engines because um, I mean we're following the meta that they were uh, playing over there on the east but I want to test out my own cards. So this is uh, one of the experiments that I'm trying. Uh, mainly I wanted to try out uh, Corazon as the main um, other engine for the deck and um, the idea of the deck is that on turn 7 or on turn 8 you're able to play two creatures and then the following turn I play another two creatures and then you get to outpace your opponent's removal. That is the main problem with this deck against something like um, blue or whatever the, 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 like there's a lot of removal decks right now at the moment and um, because they get to like remove your cards you don't have like good turns. So being able to outpace the removal a little bit with cards like these ones it goes a long way and it get, really gives you the tempo that you need to uh, allow you to come back and win those games. Like something like Revek and something like that. That's what you're, that I'm trying to go for with this concept of the deck. Now, um, and then after all of that, you get to close the game with like something like Don Flamingo. Now, I'm playing these uh, pseudo like film cards because one, you play them out of Luffy, which is really good. It gives you a lot of defense in the late game. And also, uh, you get to play... Um, like um, on turn four, like going first, you always get to play a five drop on curve, right? And going second, you always get to play uh, like a four drop on curve. That's what you're. That's what I'm trying to go for here. Uh, so you can uh, have both ways, and you can uh, go first or second, and not have that big of a, a like gap in in between turns. That's what I'm going for. Now, um, one thing that I uh, in the video you're gonna see. Uh, like the 2k counters are going to be different. I just was testing them out, but these 2k counters are much better for the deck. Uh, Carrot, of course, can be played out of uh, uh, Corazon. So it's something like in case you don't have any other Ficos, you have always that, like an option to play these two cards. Very good. And then Izo is uh, uh, just a better card to just close the games than any other 2k counter. So if you see different 2k counters in the video, it's because I just was trying them out. But um, it should be these two, two K counters in this deck at least. Um, another card that I was testing out was this one. Uh, very, very in, uh, interesting card. Uh, actually, um, I actually think it's good in the deck. Uh, it gives your leader plus 2K for the turn. So it becomes a 7K leader. And that is very meaningful. That is very good when all your cards are like 8, 7, 8K. Then they're going to try to attack your leader. And if you buff your leader by 2K, it's going to be very hard for them to poke you and kill you like easily because you cannot combo 7k's easily they have to spend a lot of mana trying to kill you very very important very very good and you can also like complement that with something like uh like all the other 2k counters it's just a two of i think is decent enough and it's good against aggressive decks and it gives you your deck a little bit more dimension uh which is what the deck like kind of needs uh sometimes um i like the concept i like the way the deck was doing um I like to keep trying more uh, with him. We we'll keep experimenting and see what we can come up with. Um, but yeah, this is what I have for right now. Uh, let me know what you think about the deck. Uh, remember, now I have the uh, patron. If you want to be part of the uh, community with me uh, and if you want to support the channel, that's another way that you can do so. Uh, so check it out. Uh, with that being said, let's go see some gameplay. Okay, and we're going to play um, against uh, Rebecca. Now here, we're definitely just going to attack for 7. See if he takes it. Um, we're going to play um, Sugar, because she's really good against this deck. Like Whatever he plays, I just get to top it down and attack it next turn. Which is ideally what I want to be doing with this deck. Uh, yeah, we'll just top it down. He can attack it with a one drop if he wants to. Uh, but ideally, I just remove it. If he wants to defend this one, then that's fine. At that point, she did her job, and I can eventually just play something else. Ideally, draw one of my cards that play two cards. And, um,. I mean, I guess I will let him go, I guess. 
Uh, no, that's fine. I'll take the damage because I'm going to need the cards. Uh, that one doesn't do anything. Wait, what did it tap? I did not want that to happen. <laughs> But you know what? That kind of works. Because he didn't use the Cairo. So we can restand it. And now I force the removal on him. Yeah, that's fine. I'm okay with this. Now he doesn't have a way to save this guy. I don't think so. I mean, I'd be surprised, but I mean, have to be better, better secure than careful here, right? You shouldn't have attack with this one. But if it's going to give me another two, two Ks, I mean, it is what it is, right? At that point, you got it. Now, fight costs are now good against this deck because, I mean, he's still going to play uh, the 7 drop and attack me twice for what it's worth. But this one is very good against this deck, at least. I'll take it because I know the problem is going to be not so much what, what he has here, but the Luffy. So I have to just be able to out-combo anything. And yeah, that type of car is also very annoying um i guess i'll play two attack the leader for six tend to play two creatures here still a very difficult matchup for what it's worth But it's not that you can do about that. It's just like, if he has all the removal, if he's only playing removal that deck, then, I mean, it'd be what it'd be, right? Uh, use Pong Gibson to tap this one. And then maybe have an answer here. Attack this one. I need to keep developing my board, so... I'll do this, play an Ura, play this guy, give it a blocker, and maybe we can survive a Luffy. It's the only issue here. And then we're going to have to freeze the Luffy. But, I mean, the Luffy is going to freeze eventually anyway, so that's not even the problem. But at least this card can tap this Sabo, or one of the two, if he doesn't have the Luffy. He does have the Luffy. He has a King Kong. So we draw a car here. So he's forced to untap it. Uh, I'll block. Oh, you cannot block on the same card that he's attacking. <laughs> that's that's funny. Oh, uh, whatever. I get to take care of that one at least. Um, I guess I'll combo this one because I'm going to play the 10 drop here. Um, attack the leader, I guess. Okay, that's good because then I can just freeze them. Stance, and then he has to play another Luffy. And then maybe we have a chance to win this game. Interesting that my play my opponent did that. Sabo is good though. Double Sabo, even better. So we have to um the Luffy is gonna be an issue. Okay. Put him to one because that's very important. 
Uh, I'm also gonna play probably two blockers here. So just attack for six is probably fine. Okay. Then play Rosinante and play the blocker here. So we have something for the uh, the Luffy. And then we have this one for the whiteboard. He cannot attack our leader with like everything. And then that should have to be enough for me to win the game. Uh, he has three blockers for what it's worth. So going for game is gonna be difficult. He uses that on the 10 drop, okay. So now I have to protect these two cards with my life. If not, I'm just gonna win. I'm gonna lose. Oh, he does King Kong, huh? Well, I can just block that one. Then I can just restand the Zoro. Uh, no blocker, restand the Zoro. And then he has to keep this up. Yeah, exactly. Um, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Not terrible. Not terrible. We can still survive here. We just have to attack for seven. I mean, if we destroy all the blockers, we should be fine. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, he has one card in hand. As long as we can get rid of the blockers, then we play another blocker here. And we should just be fine to win the game. Because uh, uh, we have this one, which allows us to at least have a, a sense of being on our leader. And then we have a blocker. So we ha will have two blockers and this one. So that should be enough to survive another turn. And then if he doesn't have another blocker, we win. So, I mean, it was fine even through all that removal. Just had to play a little bit different. Great. Okay, and we have all our combos going on this time. So, we're, we're flying this time. This is the perfect hand. Uh, I don't think it gets better for this deck. Hmm, I could tap this one, but I don't care. Oh, what happened? All right, whatever. He attacked it. Now we play Ura, I guess. No, we can play the blocker after... Um, uh, after with the Luffy. So this way... I can play this Zoro, and then this one is easier for me to defend. This card has been really impressive for the, the whole time. I actually think it's very good. I'll definitely take that one. He's going to do Swords now? Okay. Sure. Now we get to do... What do we get to do? I guess we get to play the Ura. We'll attack for seven and play the Ura. Maybe eventually we'll have enough to... Um, I mean, we'll draw another of the uh, film cards. Although... Mm, doesn't seem likely. Uh, sure, I'll take. Um, no blockers. Just block that one, I guess. All right, so he didn't do anything. Next turn is the A drop turn, but I don't mind. Now we get to attack everything with everything. And uh, we're gonna play this one. Ooh, okay. Uh, we get to attack with everything. If he wants to attack with this, be my guess. I am not attacking this one again. Because if he wants to spend energy attacking the, my lead uh, with this car, great. Let me tell you. Now this car cannot be KO'd by his effects. 
So, I mean, it can be put on deck by Mihawk, but uh, about the same, really. Um, yeah, we'll do this one. Hopefully, we draw another film car so we can keep up here. Oh, well, that's a punishment. <laughs> um, I guess we'll still keep up with the uh, what we were doing. Just play the film and attack with everything. As the film card is going to be your defense for the turn. Uh, okay. Now uh, you have zero cards in hand. That is very good for me. Uh, cannot play anything, so just let him go. Okay, that's fine. Okay. I guess I can just block and combo at 2k here. He just chaos that one. That's fine. That's a perfect draw right now. I'll just attack for 5. Actually, you know what? I should have... Forget about this. <laughs> Okay, um, I'm attacking with everything though, because I have no fear of dying here. I'm going to leave one up. I think 8-8 eight, eight is fine. Uh, play this one and let him go. Because I have this, it's going to be difficult for him to actually go for a game. I'll take it. Ooh, I have zero counter. That is very bad. What did he do? Oh, he healed himself. Um, okay, now I have to be a little bit careful, but I can just freeze these three cards. So um, I'm in a good spot at the moment. I can attack for five. I assume he's just going to block. Attack for eight. And attack for eight. And then freeze the remaining of the deck here. Uh, one, two, three. Let him go. I have Pawn Gibson, which hey, is meaningful. And then next turn, I probably could win. Well, depending on how many blockers he can play. Mm. I'll take it. Whatever. I don't think he can go for game here. We're just probably going to try to play a removal spell or trying to heal again and then keep up a lot of energy. Now, Don Quixote is very good against uh, blue decks uh, is what I found. As he's able to just stifle them really, really, really. I like it. it is impressive how much it can get stifled. Uh, I'm gonna block and do Gibson on this one, I guess. And then we're going for game next turn. One blocker is not enough, I don't think. Well, I'm gonna attack with eight at least on everything because the gum gun, this one got eight on, on defense so.
attack for eight. Attack for eight. And then just go for a game. Oof, almost misclicked there. Uh, yeah, I mean, they came clutch. Um, they did a lot, the uh, Rocinantes in this game. Being able to outpace the removal a little bit was really important. Because uh, he gave me a, an AK attacker every turn. So this card is very good against blue decks in general. The problem is that, um, I mean... It's just if you don't play the Luffy, then your your defense is really weak. So I think I also like the Luffy. So it is what it is. Okay, and we're going to play against Queen, which it should be a good matchup for them, I think. Um, but if we drop or a drop, it should be okay. I mean, if we drop any of the ones that allow us to play two cards per turn, Shall be fine. Okay, double. Double Don Quixote it is, eh? He combos. Which is fine. Uh, I do want to take the early hits, but I also want to clear his board a little bit. So, yeah, I'm going to take it. Ooh, that's great. That allows me to do a play next turn. And also this one. Uh, we can play that out of Corazon next turn. So, actually, very good. We're able to attack that one for six. So he has a less impactful uh, turn with the... Uh... Oh, that's great. Now the A-drops are going to be less impactful. Also, this one against an A-drop is going to be really good. So I feel very good right now. And then we're going to play uh, Diamante out of Rocinante. And that's just going to be really good for us. So he's just gonna KO my uh, Ura, which is fine, I'll allow it. Uh, this point is not the card that it matters. Uh, let's attack with this one first though. Oh, that's great. <laughs> now there is no answer for this. That card would have been good against the 9 drops, because uh, I can keep them tapped down, but still, this is good enough for me. Now he has to play the 8 drop. Ta uh, Oh, that's the answer, I guess, for my things. Um, sure, I'll combo to that one. And I um, guess I'll play a blocker. Because I don't really want to tap down just the queen. It doesn't really do anything for me. So I'll just attack for big numbers here. No, actually, I just attack for fives. Five and eight. And then play the Luffy. I'm not going to play anything else, but it's fine. He won't be able to heal or draw right now. So he needs to start removing every card that I play. But these cards are hard to remove. Uh, I'll trash one car. Actually. Let's grant the opponent a life. Not even sure. Why is he playing that one? <laughs> um, I, I, I grant the opponent because then he won't be able to use queen again. It's kind of weird card to play. I'll take that one. And I'll take this one. No trigger. Oh, I have another Luffy. That's actually very good. I 
And now the, the for the remaining of the game, I'm just gonna tap down both uh, his cards. Oh, yeah, that's fine. I don't mind. I get to play this one, play the Zoro, let him go. I have a lot of counter power here. And then for the rest of the game, it's just gonna be Don Quixote, Don Quixote, Don Quixote. And uh, GG. I'm not really sure you can recover from that. It does Red Rock into the blocker, which is fine. I can agree with that play. Uh, he attacked with that one first, which is fine. Oh, thank you. I get to restand it. <laughs> um, I can just pawn Gibson on this one. I'll take this one because there is not rush on that deck and uh, I can just freeze this three and attack this one to KO it and um, I should be fine. Let's see if he protects it. He does not. Yeah, now he has to defend the leader because uh, he knows what's coming. Uh, but it should be enough for me because I have this one plus 2k counters. Um, I can just get out of one attack and then have the blockers still. So, like, there is nothing that he can really do. This card is just too good against this deck. Way too good. The Don Quixote Don Flamingo is just way too good against him. Now, if he has removal in the terms of, um, um, not that one, the other one. So he's going to keep up the blockers here, I assume. Okay, he's going to attack with a big number, which I'm going to be able to block. Use this to restand them on a 2k. And then now we get to do the same basically. So we get to attack the leader. Yeah, we get to attack the leader, attack the leader. Uh, he has to combo and then we can just freeze the board again. And what is LT gonna do? Like he doesn't have a way to heal again. And uh, this board is just too t intimidating at that point. So this is a really good matchup for um, Flamingo. All right, and uh, for the uh, final thoughts, as I would say, like the, for the video that you just saw, uh, these 2K counters were different because these are the ones that you should be playing. I was just testing out the other ones. Uh, I, went, I wanted to see, I was playing like different variations of the deck, just trying to figure out the deck and how to make it like flow better. Um, now, would this be better than the film engine? I don't think so. Ultimately, the drawing power of the film deck is very good. Like um, having Nami and the um, the draw two uh, with the five drop, I uh, forgot his name, Tesoro, um, is very good. So it ultimately helps you win the game too. So it is that it is that balance. Um, it is weaker to removal, but also it gives you a lot of card advantage. So it gives you uh, longevity uh, in the matchups. Uh, so it's very decent for that reason as well. Um, but this is another way to play the deck. You can always try to experiment with new ideas, right? Uh, with that being said, that's all I have for today. Thank you all for watching. Have a good day.